Oh, Lord, y'all, this ain't been live all this time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to meet y'all. Welcome to a live stream, y'all, today today. See them sweet potatoes in that bag? They've been in there since uh, September 2022. It's March 2024, y'all. We about to see what's going on. I was trying to set up... Um, I was trying to set this up where I could show you... Uh, kind of work on this while you looking. But I don't know what I'm going to do now, y'all. I'm going to have to come up with something... I got to come up with something because what I thought I was going to be able to do, I can't. Uh, this tripod thing is set up only for landscape. And it seemed like you have to do live stream and portrait. Or uh, something about set up advanced settings, y'all. I, I, I don't know how to do none of that. Um, Let me see. I'm going to have to ask y'all to chill out for a second. I'm going to go get... Um, I'm going to try to get something else, y'all. I'm going to get my selfie stick. Let's see if we can make this work. Um, let me see if I can sit you somewhere until I come back. I got to go inside right quick. Let me see if I can do this. Um, all right. Y'all just relax right there. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. We trying to see if I can make this work. Now, I have this selfie stick, but this thing is kind of short. This thing is real short. Um, But let's see. Let's see what we can do, y'all. It's been so long since I was supposed to do Harvest these sweet potatoes and see what was going on with them. Uh, orientation is locked. Okay, so it has to be done this way. Uh, Alright, let me see. Y'all excuse me. You know I ain't only did but like a half a handful of lives. Well, maybe a little bit more, but the ones that don't went public is only like a half a handful. So, alright, let's see. This is as tall as this thing goes. And I really don't want to prop it up on anything. So... I think we probably gonna, I think we're gonna be like this. I think we're gonna be like this. Hopefully y'all will be able to see what I'm doing. Let me just raise this up um, for a little bit so you can see. Now the story with these sweet potatoes started in, like I said, September of 2022. And I planted two huge Japanese sweet potatoes. I just took the whole sweet potato, I put it in uh, I think I put it in two buckets, or I put it in one grow bag in one bucket. That was September 2022. Somehow, y'all, I must have thought that <laughs> from planting them those two sweet potatoes in the ground, I just was going to get some sweet potatoes. Well, that's not what happened, y'all. I checked it like January 2023, and I got a massive amount of slips. So I got like this much slip, probably like twice as much. I mean, beautiful, full sweet potato slips. And I was like, okay. I guess I'm supposed to plant these sweat, these slips. So that's what I did. I took all of those slips. I planted some. This is a 45-gallon grow bag. So I planted some slips in here. And then I planted some slips in a 15-gallon bucket. So I believe around maybe June, July, somewhere between May and July 2023, I checked on the slips that were in the 15-gallon uh, plant pot. Because the aphids had started, like, attacking the leaves. Like, they didn't really harm them. They didn't really look too much damaged. But I saw a lot of aphids on it. So I said, okay, let me pull these up. And let's see. Maybe we got some sweet potatoes. Because, again, it had been from September to January. And then now Jan January to somewhere between May and July. Y'all go back and check the videos for that. 
well i pulled them up and all i had was y'all a few little potatoes probably about finger size finger width and finger length so that wasn't about nothing but i still had all of these and i said well i'm gonna leave these in the grow bag and i'm gonna let them grow for a few more months well <laughs> y'all a few more months turned into march 2024 so the full length from going from them first two um potatoes sweet potatoes to this right here been from september 2022 to march 2024 i've been supposed to do this video so many times and for so long y'all i was like okay i'm i'm gonna do it now let me see hold on y'all i think i see I see somebody but I don't know how to I don't know how to uh, respond or whatever growing what I eat thank you so much for being here it's just me and you right now but guess what you're gonna be the first one to see <laughs> what we dig up with these sweet potatoes thank you so much for being here I appreciate it this is probably only like the third or the fourth live that I actually allowed to go public and stay on my channel the rest of them just wasn't what they were supposed to be <laughs> So thank you for being here and you know if you stick around long enough you'll see you know what's going on because this live I might let it stay on my channel but I might set it to private and, and nobody will never know and everybody will just see like a little bit some kind of uh, you know summary or, or you know whatever so the live stream if it seems like it's going good if i get a lot of engagement i'll let it stay but if not y'all i'm gonna set it to private and then i'll just do some kind of summary video so if you're just getting here just so you can see these are the japanese sweet potatoes we about to get into it y'all i'm not gonna drag it out but um i have a, a short little selfie stick i'm gonna put it on the ground and i'm gonna show you because it's, it's not gonna go that high but hopefully you can see what i'm doing and i'm gonna just kind of leave it right here this is what i got for you so hopefully well let me see if i put it a little bit closer because i, I want y'all to be able to see but let me show you something right quick before i start digging around in this dirt i want to show you and hopefully hopefully you'll be able to see it oh thank you for the 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 hearts and of the, the 100s thank y'all so much i'm not really familiar with this live thing um i can't really see i saw like one chat y'all excuse me i saw like one one little chat thing growing what i eat i appreciate you if anybody else is in the chat look like we got three people i sure appreciate y'all being here thank you so much i appreciate it but i want to show you because i seen like some little sweet potatoes on the top uh and i want to show you that before i start digging around and y'all know me if bugs or something come around <laughs> We probably gonna cut this video short, but I'm gonna stay on long as I can, y'all, because I want you to see. Now, hold on. Now, hopefully you can see in here. I hope y'all can see this. Y'all see like this little, little sweet potato right here, some little thing. This is this is really small. I hope I'm pointing the camera where y'all can see. I see another little one right here, but I'm gonna start pulling up um all of these the slips and the leaves i'm gonna start pulling all of this up and we're gonna see what we have y'all i'm hoping my my goal is this if i get two if i get two potato two sweet potatoes i'm gonna be happy all right we're gonna put this right here uh i hope that you can see i really don't have nothing that i could prop this up on um so i got a couple tools here i got this uh I got some scissors. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, cut these. Because I'm thinking, y'all, I might be able to save these slips and, like, use them again. Because, I mean, they they look healthy and alive, green. Like, they still growing and everything. So, um, let me see if I could just, you know, pull some away with my hands. You can see, like, this, the stems of a lot of this, they green. It's like they growing new. All right, let me see. This is by this is kind of by itself. So let me just I'm just gonna pull up. <laughs> y'all look at this. Y'all see that? This little bitty. I mean it's I mean something better than nothing, right? I probably can I don't know. Just do do something with them. So that's one thing that we got. Um and this soil is really dry like i purposely like i stopped watering and everything like a while ago now when it rained of course the soil got wet but um 
I stopped watering this this very dry very dusty and y'all only thing I'm praying for is that nothing don't jump from out of this uh nothing jump from out of this bag because if it do y'all I'm gonna run inside I'm gonna leave y'all out here and I'm gonna be running inside all right so let's see I tried to pull this out but they either have potatoes or they have slips um like tangled into this this is where you saw them small potatoes so i gotta leave this right here i'm trying to go from the outside in and seeing what i could pull out um now this look like this look like a slip that i could replant into the ground yep this right here I didn't have nothing at the bottom. Hopefully y'all can see this. But this looks like something I can put in the ground. This looks pretty healthy to me. This could be another slip. Let's see. 45 gallon grow bag, y'all. They probably don't have nothing in here. But we, we about to find out. Alright, now I see some juni bugs. Some people call them roly polies. And you usually have them. They come when you have like decaying matter. So... I thought I saw an earwig in here too, and I can't stand those things, but let's see. This is so tangled, y'all. They, they, the slips and the roots are everywhere. I am more than sure. Now, look at this. You see how this is growing from off of here? Oh, wait, hold on. See how this is growing off of here? This new growth off of here? I think I can replant this. This could be another slip. I told y'all, I live ways not one night. Uh... I'm trying to, I have a lot of green growth that's still on, like on brown growth. So, hold on, let me see. All right, y'all. I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing, y'all, because I got to look for them bugs. So, if you in here, I sure appreciate you. Thank you so very much for joining me. Finally getting through and seeing what we got in this sweet potatoes okay oh i see y'all i'm getting ready to break i'm about to i'm trying not to break the branches this is caught up ah this is caught up y'all I, I just i gotta break it all right let's go ahead and get this out of the way let's see if i can save try to save this all of this look like new slips y'all this look like new slips that's growing i think i'm gonna save this and stick this back in the ground i have um i have an a empty 15 gallon uh 15 gallon bucket and i'm gonna do that i'm i think i'm gonna put some of these slips in that 15 gallon bucket we're gonna put this on the side and let's see what we got Look how long. Now, this is Japanese sweet potatoes, y'all. And I, honestly, this thing, they've been in the ground for so long, I'm not really expecting to get nothing like talking about it. But if there's anything that I can eat, y'all, trust me. Your girl gonna eat it. All right. We got some other, some little things. So this is kind of like the size. When I pulled out um the sweet potatoes, when I had them in that, uh, I think that 15-gallon bucket of yeah, I think it was a 15 gallon bucket. I got a whole bunch like this. And y'all trust me, that ain't too small. That ain't that ain't too small. Cause I I, I eat all of that. Now, let's see. My I'm not strong enough to, to dump this over because this the, the bag itself is very heavy. Hopefully y'all still in the frame. I rather y'all see more of the plants than me. Look at that. See, spiders and stuff. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Wait, I, I got to be in a ready position. Because if I got to roll out, I'm t I promise y'all, I'm going to leave y'all right here. I'll be back down the line, but I'm going to leave y'all right here. Okay. I guess I should. Let me see, y'all. Should Let me see. Can I, um, can I just, like, pull these up, y'all? I'm trying not to. I don't want to break nothing, especially if I can save these slips. But y'all, let me know. Can I just, just, just pull them up and, and just see? I don't really want to cut them. Can I just pull the slips, pull all this green stuff, just pull it straight up and see what I got at the bottom? Y'all let me know. Somebody say Walmart. Walmart online. 
Oh, last is oh yeah, I remember she said she worked at uh she worked at Walmart. And then um we have a HOA, so nothing too big. All right, all right. Yo, I'm not really seeing no I'm not really seeing no response, or maybe it's it's further down and I can't see. But I'm just gonna start pulling up, y'all. Let's see. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, what? What? Hold up, y'all. Uh. Uh. All right, we got a little something. I mean, it, it ain't huge, but look at that. We, hey, we got a little something. They're not huge, but trust me, I I will take these, and I will eat these. I'm surprised that anything really is still down in this soil. Y'all, look at that. I'll take that. And I still think a lot of these are slips that I could plant back in the ground, y'all. Okay, let me see. Oh, I see some. Another little potato. I definitely have a lot more green than I do potatoes. But this is this is what we're looking like for right here. Uh, so that's that. And let me see, y'all. We pretty that's that's almost it. Hold on, let me see what else they got. Another healthy slip I think I can use and plant this again. Alright. One more potato, sweet potato. These are Japanese sweet potatoes, you know. And they might not be that big. They might not be grocery store big, but y'all they look they they stomach big. They <laughs> they stomach big. Alright. We got some more people coming in. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're just coming in uh, this live stream, y'all, this is me finally, after like one and a half years, looking to see what I have for these sweet potatoes. And uh, I mean, you know, what we got about, uh, I'm from the South, y'all. I live in California, but I'm from Louisiana. And we usually calculate food by sandwiches, right? So I think I probably got, I might have about three sandwiches, you know, three, three, three small sandwiches, three half sandwiches, you know. If you count two slices of bread and what go in between, y'all, I got about three sandwiches. Hold up now. Okay. A lot of long, slender ones. Now, the, the sweet potatoes that I planted, they were more fat and round. These are coming out long and slender. But y'all, look, this just looking good. I, hey, <laughs> I could work with this. And let's see. I'm pulling up, uh, like I said, a lot more um still you know like slips and look y'all this this to me this look healthy to me i think i could plant this again and i do have a 15 gallon pot that i am gonna put on the side and that's what i'm gonna plant these in it's little just little skinny y'all they they not really about nothing but i mean you know we gonna see i have worms in here I'm definitely going to be resifting this soil. Let me show y'all just right quick. So I have, um, I already have my wheelbarrow set up and I have my sifter. I made this myself, um, with some mesh. Hopefully y'all can see this. And then in here, this is, um, some soil that I used when I was doing my starts. And after I did the starts, I added some, um, I added some coffee. I had some spent coffee grounds that I got from a local cafe, and I mixed that in with that. Um, just right quick, y'all. This is um, so this is some flowers. I took some old um, water bottles, cut off the top, and I'm planting some flowers. Ain't nothing came up yet. And let me see if I could get on this side and show y'all. Hopefully, you can see this. This is my starts. Y'all remember all of those starts that I planted, and I have. You know a good amount of stuff is coming up if you can see that especially back here in the back and my concern is that i have stuff that's actually see is is busting to the top of the tool so i need to get this stuff out of here um but to be honest with y'all i'm still waiting for these stores to put this soil on sale y'all what, what they waiting for i'm thinking maybe they're gonna do it next weekend 
because it's going to be a holiday, the, the holiday weekend, and maybe that's when they're going to put their soil, the amendments, the fertilizer on sale. Now, I've seen some of these big box stores. They had, um like, the colored mulch. And, not, you know, I'm not using none of that. The colored mulch, they had... uh like one like a small bag of miracle grow on sale i don't use miracle grow so that's you know that's not important to me but i need to get fertilizer and i need potting mix because if y'all seen um one of my other videos i have two green stalks that i bought y'all they still in the box you haven't missed mixed you haven't missed the unboxing i'm waiting for the potting mix to go on sale because you have to use potting mix with those green stalks. You can't use in-ground soil or, uh, you know, regular soil because it's too heavy. I want to thank everybody that's in here. Y'all look a bump. Y'all, honeybees, hold on. <laughs> and y'all know I'm out here looking for that one bumblebee. She came late yesterday evening. It was almost dark when she came yesterday. So that's why I'm out here now in the daytime trying to hurry up and, like, get this recording and... <laughs> And do this live stream while she's not out here. Now let me show y'all. So if you can see where the onion, where the onion is, you see the onion flowers, and that's where she be, y'all. She she go right there and she stay right around there. She don't be flying all around or whatever. She go straight to the onion. She do what she gotta do, and then she roll out. I'm trying to let those onion flowers go to seed, and I'm gonna collect those seeds and I'm gonna plant them again. So, um. Let me put this back on the ground, y'all. We're going we gonna to keep digging and let's see. So, hold on. Let me see if you can see this. Y'all, please excuse me. You know, I ain't, I ain't the best with all of this here stuff. But this is what we have so far. Let me see. If you can see that, a lot of like long, slim, like long, slim. These are Japanese sweet potatoes. We got some that, you know, got, got a little width to them. But a lot of long, slim sweet potatoes y'all but trust me i'm gonna make it work i'm definitely gonna eat that now let me sit y'all right here uh try to get y'all a little bit closer y'all excuse me again thank you everybody for being here let me try to get y'all so you can see in the bag and i'm gonna come around this way y'all i got my little chair my little fold up chair Y'all know I'm still working with um I'm still working with my back. It's getting better, but y'all I have my good days and my bad days. I do what I can when I can with what I have. And when I can do it, I do it, y'all. And when I can't, I don't do it. I know y'all understand. And I sure appreciate your understanding. I appreciate your support. Now I'm gonna go. I have this little tool right here. I'm trying to be gentle because I think I feel some more stuff down here is a lot of long long slender japanese sweet potatoes but y'all <laughs> trust me oh no we're gonna eat that um they also have earthworms and stuff in here i am gonna sift this soil and i'm gonna reuse it i want to go down y'all I, I do i want to use my hand but even with gloves on y'all I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous oh 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 all right, all right. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna keep digging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the way down to the bottom. A little small, a little small something right here. I think it's, I think it's more to go. I feel, I feel something down here, y'all. And this is a 45 gallon grow bag, so I'm, I'm not even halfway through the depth of the bag yet. see what we got here they might not have anything left down here y'all but we're gonna see we're gonna dig around a little bit and see what's going on nothing just a lot of these small ones y'all a lot of these small ones but like i said that's all right that's all right and some of this i'm thinking is potatoes but it's just the soil is dry and it done got hard another little small Little thing, I could make um make some sweet potato fries with this. 
the soil is, is getting hard. I'm trying to stick down the middle another little I'm gonna try to see if I could come up with something something worth putting in front of the camera. Alright. Something else. I think they got a whole bunch of these, like you know, little small size. Thank y'all for the, the hearts and stuff. I see that. Let me see. I want to get, let me see, recognize y'all. I can't, so I see Juicy with Jay. I see Mike. I see Shani. Uh, growing what I eat. I think I saw Miss Shirley. You know, that everybody who is here, thank you so much. I'm going to get better with learning how to, you know, scroll through and everything. But y'all know I'm on my cell phone. I'm outside in the backyard shenanigans, yo, it. Going through these 45-gallon uh, Japanese sweet potato, finally. Y'all, from September 2022 to March 2024. Y'all know that's, that's about two seasons worth of potatoes, at least. But we finally seeing what we got here. <laughs> I'm going to try to eat that, too, y'all. All right, let's see. I'm still not halfway down um, through this. What I need now here, that's that's a nice little side. Oh, somebody trying to call me, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to let it go through. Y'all, let me do something. Let me um. Let me get a bucket or something and try to get some of this out and put it on my sifter. That way I can get further down into this dirt. Y'all, hold on a second. I'm going to be right back. Alright y'all, I got this shovel. This thing kind of big, but I gotta use what I can reach. Alright, let's take let's take this. And I'm gonna put this right here on my sifter. And if I catch any potatoes in this, I'm gonna make sure I show y'all. Sweet potatoes, y'all. Japanese sweet potatoes. They purple on the outside and cream color on the inside. And I love them, y'all. This just got to be my favorite sweet potato right here. I'm from Louisiana, too, so don't tell nobody. <laughs> don't tell nobody. I said this was my favorite. Over the, over the southern sweet potato. I ain't trying to lose my southern card, y'all. All right, let me see right quick. All right, I saw, I saw like a little, a little something, but this is a live stream, so I don't want to spend too much time not in front of the camera. Here's. Two more little small ones. And like I said, y'all, I'm, I'm going to eat them. Let me see who it is. Oh, yeah, Miss Shirley. Oh, it's cold and 37 degrees in Cleveland while you have sun and heat. Oh, Miss Shirley, don't be jealous because you know when that heat come to you and when your season get into full swing, you're going to be ready. I ain't going to lie, y'all. It's hot, though. I'm sweating out there, too. But I owe this to y'all. If I don't owe nothing else to y'all, I definitely owe this to y'all. And I was going to try to do a video, and I said, you know what? The jury deserve a live stream. Now, whether this stay up after I finish, I don't know. So the people that's in here now, thank you for joining. You might be the only ones that see this. Here's another one. another, And like I said, a lot of kind of like finger width, finger length sweet potatoes. But y'all... <laughs> You know how they say size matter? Not in this case. 
Not in this case, y'all. Because I'm going to be eating all of this. Let me shuffle some more of this dirt out the way. And like I said, I'm sifting this soil. I am going to reuse it. I'm putting this. I'm going to sift this. I have my sifter right here. And I have some... Um, it was uh, that Jiffy Seed starting mix with vermiculite, perlite, and maybe something else. And then I had some coffee grounds. That's what I already have sifted in my wheelbarrow. And then I'm going to sift this in and mix this in with that. Y'all know me, waste not, want not, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to reuse everything. And as soon as these stores get their mind right, and, and put the soil and the fertilizer and the amendments on sale. Y'all see? Uh-uh. Y'all saw that honeybee? Mm-mm. They don't really bother me too much. But sometimes, y'all, I was working in my garage a couple weekends ago. And I have the garage halfway open because I can't stand people looking in my garage. So, I had the garage halfway open. Y'all, first we had one bee in the garage. By the time it was said and done, they had like 10 honeybees just flying around in the garage, flying around all around us. Y'all almost lost my mind. But I stuck it out. We got the garage like kind of, you know, cleaned out a little bit. But it's still, it is not like I want to. And I thought I did something, y'all, cleaning out the garage and it looked like I ain't did nothing. Look like they got more stuff in there after I cleaned it out than what they did before I started. Let me see who else I see. Oh, GT Junior, how you doing? Hey, what's your temperature in Alaska? Miss Shirley said it's uh 37. Where she is in Ohio, where how what's the temperature where you at? Uh, Shanny 2003. She said they're edible. Make some mashed potato. Oh yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am. We gonna make mashed potatoes. We, you know, we we gonna look. I was about to say even one this small. Now y'all, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not this little. I don't know y'all. But hey, if I wash it off, it, it look. If it don't fall through the pot, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Let me see. Micro farmer, thank you so much. I appreciate you for being here. Everybody that's in here, thank you so much. Uh, this is probably only my third or my fourth live stream that I actually did. And, um, it might not stay up on the channel. So I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all gonna be my witness that I actually did go through this grow bag. Y'all saw me do it. We saw what kind of sweet potatoes we got. I'm gonna replant some of these slips. And, uh, and we gonna start it again. And I promise y'all, it ain't gonna be a year and a half. I'm not gonna do that again. Now I'm kind of running out of space on my sifter. Um, I got earthworms. This soil down here getting kind of hard, y'all. And I don't, I don't think it's potatoes. I don't think so. Um, but we gonna see. I do. I see a lot of earthworms in here. I think the further I get to the bottom, they still have a little moisture left in here, cause this soil is very dry. I stopped watering it a long time ago because my intention, you know, was to see what I had, was to harvest the sweet potatoes, and I didn't do it. The only water it got uh, after a certain point was when it rained. Um, let me see. More of these, you know, long, slender kind. But like, I, I eat all that, y'all. Ain't nothing got to be, oh, it got to be this a certain size, and it got to look like this and look like that. Mm -mm. I don't grow grocery store produce. I grow real, live, gardener, farmer produce in my yard. And a lot of it don't look like the grocery store, but it tastes a thousand percent better. A thousand percent better, y'all. I don't really, I can't turn this over. I don't have anything to dump this on. I had a tarp. Um, 
a little tarp closure thing that I had got from Timu. I can't find it. But I ordered some more though. So I have a a Timu order. I'm waiting for the order to come in and then I'm gonna do an unboxing. From Timu, I mostly buy a lot of stuff for gardening and um like some household stuff. I don't buy like they clothes and all that. I'm not really into that. Not somebody else calling me, y'all. But I'm gonna stick with y'all. I'm not gonna hang up. I think we just got a little bit more. I need something else to put this soil on. Let's see. 30, now it's 38 degrees in Alaska and it's 37 degrees in um in Ohio. Ain't that something? And y'all, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm in Southern California. I'm in Zone 10B, and it gotta be it's uh 70s, low to mid 70s, like right now. And uh, let me see. I can't see what time it is. I don't even know what time I went live. I don't want to switch nothing on my phone or try to press buttons because I don't want to disconnect. Here we go. Some more little ones. And y'all, I'm still, so right now, if you can see, I'm about halfway through. Let's see. If you can see the whole bag, I'm about halfway down. So it's possible that I still might have some potatoes further down. But I think I'm going to call it, y'all. And I'm going to say it's probably it's probably just some small, you know, finger lift, finger width um, sweet potatoes. I'm trying to dig around in here. Y'all, look, I, and I got this sun hat on. It's for the sun, but it's also to block my vision of all the stuff flying over my head. Because they got honeybees, y'all, the hummingbirds. And I'm trying to stay out here with y'all because I will leave you in uh, 0 0.5 seconds. <laughs> what somebody say? Somebody. I know that's right. Ugly veggies is the bomb with it. Hey, I know that's right. I know that's right. Yeah, Miss Shirley. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. I don't need it to be cute. I need it to be healthy and nutritious. Ugh. Let me see. Now, y'all, I'm, I'm seeing more. I'm seeing more roots down here at the bottom. Let me see. Let me see what if something else is going on down here. Y'all, I can't really tell. I I see a lot of roots though. See, I see a lot of roots. If y'all can see that, I see more roots. I'm hoping the only thing down here is um is earthworms. Cause y'all know I be having them grubs bad. The grubs for the um out here for us, I believe they call them um why why the name why the fig beetles. Fig beetles. Some people call them Japanese beetles. They have different names, like different uh species of those beetles. Um, you know live in different areas of the country and here in my area they call them fig beetles that's those multicolored flying beetles they about as big as a bumblebee but they fly slow and clumsy y'all those things <sighs> you know you had to face your fears I just I had to face my fear what's on my yeah Miss Shirley <laughs> It'd be like this, how the lightning strike from the east to the west. That's how fast I'd be inside. You'd be like, she was she was like in a sitting position, digging through the soil, and I blinked my eye, and she was all the way inside with the door closed, sitting on the sofa in the living room, looking outside. <laughs> all right, let's see. Yeah, some more, some more little small ones. Y'all, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Um... And of course, as soon as I say that, you know, other little stuff. Let me see. It's getting hot out here, y'all, and my back is my back is starting to it's starting to give give its way. It's starting to tell me I'm done, y'all. But I got it seems like they got more stuff down here. A lot of uh a lot of roots. A lot of roots down here. 
I mean, for how long these sweet potatoes been in here? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't doubt that they might have some more uh, sweet potatoes down here. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm about done. Let me show y'all. Let me, let me go back and show y'all. Who that bag is heavy. Let me show y'all what we got so far. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Y'all excuse me too. I got my phone on a selfie stick. Because the uh, thing was telling me I got to do. I have to do it uh, uh, vertical. I can't do it in landscape. I got to do it in portrait. So y'all we have some nice slips. And I do. I'm going to replant some of these slips in a 15 gallon bucket um this is some of the little small y'all we gonna we gonna call these fingerling <laughs> these gonna be fingerling uh sweet potatoes but look at this nice healthy look at this nice healthy i know i can stick this in some water or get this in some good soil and um we gonna start this process all over again now let me pick off some of the I'm gonna pick some of these off y'all let me give me uh like a minute or so i'm just gonna gather some of these potatoes and just show you what i have um but i am i'm i'm gonna uh we're gonna do something with these slips and i'm surprised that i got anything really look <laughs> This just connected on to the bottom of the thing. I'm just, I'm going to leave this right here. But as y'all can see, now if I was going by just looking at the leaves, because you know how some people say, well, wait till the leaves start turning yellow or wait till the leaves start turning brown. These are Japanese sweet potatoes. These are, um, you know, red, like red on the, let me show you. They're red on the outside with the cream on the inside, if you can see that. That's what these, so these are Japanese sweet potatoes. Um, so yeah, you see, I don't, I barely have any, there's hardly any uh, yellow leaf, let alone, you know, a brown leaf. So if I was going by waiting until the leaves die back, these things would be in here probably for about 10 years. Now, if I went by the time, the days, the number of days, because most, most people say, well, y'all, for the, the potatoes and the sweet potatoes, between 100 and 145 days, depending on whether it's a potato or a sweet potato and a variety of the potato you're growing. I've seen anywhere from, you know, 90 to 100 days up to like 140, 145 days. Um... This here, we're going to put this back in here. All of this. Y'all, and all, I mean, these slips are beautiful, y'all. These The slips are beautiful. And if I can put them to work to give me some more um, sweet potatoes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a... Um, I have a five-gallon bucket out here. I'm going to just fill it up with some water and just put all of this in the bucket of water uh, right now. And then I'll come back um, later on today. Or oh, y'all know I ain't going to lie. Probably tomorrow, uh, you know, and see about putting them in some soil. Now, let me show y'all some of the biggest ones. So we didn't get a lot, and they weren't that big. Um, but I'm going to put that, it's definitely going to be, you know, I'm going to put that on me. I'm not going to put that on the sweet potatoes. I didn't really, you know, put no extra fertilizer, um, you know, on here after I planted them. I planted them with a good amount of, what's that? A butterfly, a, a huge butterfly. Now I'm going to tell y'all this quick break from the sweet potatoes, but my lemon tree over here. My lemon tree get attacked every year by uh, like the large swallowtail. So swallowtail butterflies, they like citrus leaves. So if you have a citrus tree, you know, if you have not been attacked by swallowtails, your, your lemon tree be thankful because every year 
um, my tree get attacked by uh, the huge jumbo swallowtail. Now, it doesn't affect the lemons, and y'all seen, I get about, about 75 lemons off that tree. And if that tree about two feet tall, two and a half feet tall, it's a lot. And I'm going to show y'all, before we leave, I'm going to show y'all all of the buds that I have on that tree right now. But going back to the sweet potatoes, y'all, this is what we have. Now, it's not nothing fancy. It ain't miraculous. You know, we're we not talking about uh, grocery store size. Um, but this is enough for me to put in a pot in a pan, um, you know, and do something with it. And I have a whole bunch of smaller size like these. I got a whole bunch of these down here. But, y'all, hey, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I put two potatoes in the ground, and really all of these is from one potato. Because I don't know if I told y'all, so I put two sweet potatoes in the ground, but only one of those sweet potatoes gave me slips. The other sweet potato gave me zero, y'all, zero sweet slips. And I bought both of those slips from the grocery store. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was organic or not. I can't remember if I got them from, like, the health food store or the regular grocery store. Y'all had to go back to uh, September 2022, and I, I'm pretty sure I said specifically where I got it from. But um, only one potato gave me slips, and but that one potato gave me about twice as much, two and, two and a half size much as what you see right here. Um, and then these are the potatoes I got, y'all. I'm going to take care of that. Oh, let me show y'all something right quick. <laughs> I'm going to just turn the camera around. So... Y'all know I've been um I've been pulling everything up. You know, this was a beet that I had pulled up. This was some carrots. Here's some more carrots. Hopefully y'all can see that that I pulled up. They've been sitting out here for like a few days though, so that's why they look, you know, kind of dried up and, and raggedy. But um who is that making that noise? Them birds. Um let me just show ooh, let me just show y'all right quick. If y'all familiar with um my backyard shenanigans garden i have six i call them mini raised beds and then i have my fruit trees and herbs in the middle i have my medicinal garden in the back here i have some fruit trees in the ground i have some fruit trees in a pot um and then i have five gallon buckets and 15 gallon buckets i'm just gonna show y'all those right quick and i don't think i can i turn y'all can i turn this around Hold on, let me take my glove on. Let me see if I could turn this around. Uh, no, I guess I... Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, all right. Yep, this is perfect. Now, if y'all seen this before, this used to be full of, you know, plants. I had all kind of stuff. Root vegetables, mostly in the back. And I had leafy greens and brassic brassicas in the middle and the one in the front. I took all of that out. I got all of that out. This bed right here was real heavy infested with aphids. So I took everything out and I basically been letting this soil bake in the sun. This bake in the sun. If you um wondering what this is, this is my uh, electroculture. This is just copper wire round, wound around a bamboo stick. I know it's a lot of controversy and, and commotion in the community on agriculture, um, on electroculture. But y'all, I'm not, I'm not going to say nothing one way or another but this is just what i do and it worked for me if you've seen the size of my produce you know all i can say is it worked for me so now these was the little scraggly onions i think i said this in a video a couple days ago i said hey i got three or four little scraggly onions that i'm just gonna put in a one gallon pot these are the onions that i was talking about and look at this one y'all this one here trying to, you know, trying to flower and go to seed. I might just pull these up, see what's at the bottom, and, you know, either eat them or chop them up. So, um, this is my medicinal herb garden right here, y'all. These are the, um, what was that, the, the survival garden seeds. I bought that pack, I believe it was 36 packs of medicinal herbs, and I planted 12 of them. And you can see I'm having uh, various germination and various success. I haven't been paying attention, you know, like I'm supposed to. Like I said, y'all, with my back, I get out here when I can. And, um, you know, I, I do what I can when I can and for how long I can. 
these now these I had planted earlier so this is cilantro this one is what this is mammoth dill this one was thyme nothing really came up and then this one was oregano nothing really came up but if you want to see what all these 12 are my medicinal um herbs y'all go ahead and check out that video this right here is this is my washington navel orange tree and you can see buds and flowers out the yin yang y'all <laughs> a lot a lot a lot this is my blood orange tree um just starting a little bit new growth this just starting to wake up just a few buds here i have herbs this is lemon balm here and then this is spearmint and then right here i have two things of sage i think i'm gonna add some time this sage was already in this pot but I'm going to put thyme in here and probably put this sage in here. And I might use this pot for those onions. And then this is my pink lemonade lemon tree. And you see the buds and stuff coming up. Um, uh, JT Jr., yeah, my, my temperature here, we in the mid-70s. Right now, it's hot, y'all. I'm sweating. This is my PVC frame that I made a little DIY project and what i have is this is just tool so this is open for me i take these clips off and i can open this up and then you know water weed whatever y'all tell me what this is so this whole bed is elephant garlic but y'all can somebody tell me what that is hopefully i'm not shading it too much see if we can focus i'll get y'all what what is that because it just done grew up in there and i should have picked it out i thought about picking it out when it was um when it was smaller but i kind of just i just let it go but i don't know what that is some kind of herb some kind of weed y'all tell me what you think that is i don't know i haven't really paid attention to it um it don't seem to be harming the elephant garlic so i got the elephant garlic growing in there um oh yes i'm i'm in southern california i'm in southern california now mike you want me to stop and and open this thing up and and rub it and smell it and all that kind of might might now you asking me to do too much right now i might have to go do that though but i know y'all master gardeners up in here i know y'all can look at that stuff and tell me what it is um no not the big leaf plant the big leaf uh plant that's elephant garlic i was talking about this right here if you can see see this right here Wait, I think I'm I might be shading it out. This right here is what I'm talking about. Mike say do it. <laughs> he say do it, y'all. Hold up. The only reason I don't want to do it is because you see like the clamps. I gotta take the clamps at the top. And this is not um, it's just the tool fabric, you know, so it's kind of light. That's the only reason why I'm not doing it. You can't see it well. All right, see, Mike and GT, y'all, y'all about to, you know what? It's only because I owe it. I owe it to y'all because I took a year and a half to um to do this sweet potato video. Why not? Y'all here and y'all supporting me and what I'm doing, so why not? I got to do what the jury want, right? All right, let's let's see. Let's see. Now, if something fly from out of here, y'all, I'm gonna drop this phone. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and get y'all after here. Yeah? I constantly got to be looking out and seeing. But see, I have um, this just a piece of cardboard just to help me handle it a little bit better. I have sticky, double-sided sticky tape that's... Um, All right, we're going to let this just fall open. Like garlic, but then wait. I think I'm shading it out. Now, nah, let's see. Can y'all see? Wait, hold on. Can you see? At first, I thought it was like um, carrot tops, but that's not carrot. That's some kind of weed or herb or something, I believe. Now, what y'all say? Yeah, it is. You, GT, you right. It is. It's Mike's fault. It, and then Mike, Mike say it's GT fault. GT say it's Mike's fault. Now, y'all, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of the, the shade. But this is what I'm talking about right here. Hopefully, it's focused. Let's see, y'all. Look, now they got spider webs and everything up in here. But what y'all, what you think that is? If you can see, hopefully it's focusing. 
it's focusing but that's what I'm, I'm just wondering and, and then I was like is this some kind of deal y'all cuz maybe the seeds maybe some seeds like flew around and got in here y'all let me know let me know what y'all think that is yeah Mike. see I was saying the same thing I thought that that was deal too that's what I was thinking um and I'm gonna just go ahead and let it you know I'm going to let it do what it do. It's not bothering the, um, as far as I can see, it's not bothering, nah, hold on. It's not bothering the elephant garlic. Let me just at least get one, one little clamp up here, y'all. I'm going to have to come back and, and get all this together. All right. Now, just right quick here. Now, this is, this is my kitchen garlic, y'all. So, this is just the regular garlic out the store um that i got it's doing very well i did liquid fertilizer on all of my beds well everything that has something in it so all of my trees and everything i did the liquid fertilizer. i have um it's fish and guano liquid fertilizer i'm gonna show y'all and then back here um this is i know i got spider webs i probably can't see this but it's a big spider web all across this whole thing hold on let me get my um uh, let me get this is um one of my little sticks now uh when i get to the back if y'all got time i'll show you that um but this is like an extra piece of a pvc pipe and i'm using it for my five gallon buckets i'll explain it to y'all when i get back there but just so you can see um what it is all right all of this all of this side web all of that now this just allow me to get a little bit y'all look at my peas <laughs> i haven't when i tell you i didn't do anything at all with these peas except you know clamped it up as it grew but you see these pods right here you best believe i'm gonna save peas and them pods and we're gonna grow again i, I see y'all not as much as mike now I don't, I don't, I don't buy as much as Mike, but I be, I be trying to give him a run for his money, y'all. But he got me. So this is whatever this is. It's getting tore up and ate up. So I'm gonna pull this up too. Y'all look for this. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh. I almost left, y'all. The hummingbird came and flew right by me. Look at this. It's getting, it's getting tore up from the inside. I, really, y'all. Uh oh is it a cabbage trying to grow up in there? No, uh-uh. This might be this might be a cabbage. This might be a cabbage. But y'all ain't gonna do nothing with it. I ain't gonna do nothing bit with it. Well, you know what? If I still had stuff growing in here, um GT, it would be my trap crop. But but now I'm cleaning out all of my beds except for um hold on y'all. I'm I'm trying to back out without breaking my neck except for these two except for the elephant garlic and the garlic this one and then all of these three i'm cleaning them out and this is where i'm going to be putting um all of my starts that you see right here um this one this one in the middle is only one uh board high it's only six inches I already have the boards to build it up to make it 12 inches. So I'm going to build up this one to 12 inches. So it'll be the same as all the rest of them. That's why I have to get these onions out of here. Uh-oh, your screen is pixelated. Oh, lost, lost clear focus. Let me know if y'all back. I'm not sure where the... Oh, the pepper bed. Let me show you that. Let me go. Y'all let me know if you back in focus. Because y'all know I don't know what to do now. This is my apple tree. Y'all, it never fully went to sleep uh, from last year. Still have a lot of green leaves and stuff, but it haven't really woke up either. If y'all remember last year, my apple tree was one of the last things that woke up. And when it did, we got almost 100 apples off of this tree. This is my lemon tree. And y'all see how short this lemon tree is. But you see, if you can see all of that kind of pinkish purple, that pinkish purple, all look, here's a good, a good view. 
Y'all look at that. You see all that pinkish purple? And I'm hoping all of that will turn out to be more. Oh, look at this. Here it is. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Y'all look at that. I hope y'all can see all of this. All of that pinkish purple in there. All of that. And down, look at down in there. Look at that. Oh yeah, JT. These these little, I mean GT. I'm sorry. All the these little my my tree. You see how small this lemon tree is. Like I said, it might be, it might be two and a half feet tall, maybe. And um, my apple tree, I I did trim it. I did uh, trim some of the branches and stuff. It have a nice little height to it. But I'm telling you, when they get in bloom, you know I'm gonna show y'all. This is the onion that I let go to seed. And y'all, I ain't trying to stick down here too much because as soon as that bumblebee come, and she coming, y'all. She come every day. She come every day. This was just some onion, y'all. I had put them in here, um, like just on a whim. I'm, I'm not sure what the deal was, but I just stuck them in there and they grew. Uh, but I didn't do nothing with them. I didn't pull them out. I didn't harvest them. And when they started going to seed, I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to let them go. And uh, I'm going to collect those seeds. And then I'm going to plant those seeds. This is some more, um, this is more spearmint. And y'all, these are a whole bunch of, y'all know that, that miracle leaf of life? I'm going to show it to y'all. But this is a bunch of leaves that kind of like, it just fell off and fell down and stuff. And I just threw them all in the pot. Um, and it just started growing. I got another trivia question for my garden and jewelry. So, y'all know on my channel, I do a variety of stuff. I started out with natural hair care. Then I did the gardening. I do stuff on my, um, my Tesla electric vehicle. I do unboxings. I, you know, I do a variety of things. Um, but my heart, my, y'all, my heart, my heart is with gardening. Because I've been doing it since I was a child. I've been doing it since I was a child. Now, y'all, check this out. Now, I started. This um, is beans, right? So, this is the Cherokee yellow. Yellow Cherokee wax bean. And I had this in here. Now, y'all, look at this. Y'all, what is this? Is this a lettuce? Is this a lettuce I got in here? Y'all, look. It have took over the whole pot. Is it a lettuce? Is it a mustard? Y'all, tell me what it is. I'm thinking that this is a lettuce. I think this is some kind of lettuce. I don't know, y'all, but um, let me see. Because I was looking at, I look at them leaves down in there. Down, you know, kind of looking down in there. I think that that's lettuce. But it done took over the whole pot for the bean. So, this is my five-gallon bucket stand. Just to give y'all a quick look. And Mike was asking, you know, where's all the pepper plants? I moved all the pepper plants on this stand. Um, here is, this is a Kentucky Wonder pole bean. And y'all, so these four buckets right here, I put beans in these. But I wasn't really expecting, you know, too much out of it. They were like leftover beans that I had in some old packets. I think there was 2021 See, somewhere between 2018 and 2021. So I just threw them in a bucket. You know, I wasn't really expecting too much to come out of it. A mustard, a kale, or a collard green. Now, I might, I might go with you on, might go with you on the mustard. But I'm trying to see. But the only thing that I had, like in this whole area, was lettuce, y'all. That's why I'm thinking it's some kind of lettuce. But it don't really look like any lettuce that I grew. That's Mike talking about tasting. No, GT. Talking about taste it. Do you see all them holes up in here, GT? You know I ain't finna taste nothing. I got to see. They got spiders and spider webs and everything else up in here. Y'all may have to do that off camera. Because if I start screaming and hollering, I don't want y'all to hear. I don't want y'all to laugh at me no more than what you already laughing. Now, I like to give y'all a little entertainment now. Some people say they like my accent. I don't hear it. But, you know, I like... <laughs> GT and Mike, y'all finna have me in the hospital. I know, lotsy, lotsy. You right, the holes do, yeah, it mean it's fresh, y'all. But look, let me show you this right quick, because 
Man, we've been on for over an hour. Y'all, I am, I'm going to take this live stream down. So for those of you who are in here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all the only ones that's going to see this. This in-depth, uh, exclusive backyard shenanigans. Shenanigans. And I sure I appreciate y'all. I really do. Now, y'all, this is a mystery tomato. And if you remember in some of my last videos, I told y'all this tomato, this tomato plant scared me. It looked creepy. It looked like it was supposed to be in a Halloween film. Or like some kind of murder film or something y'all this thing scares me i don't know what kind of tomato it is i did actually eat a couple of tomatoes off of it and you know i'm i'm not dead so i think why am i gonna take this one down because it's scary it scares me and i don't like it and i've been purposely like not taking care of it and it continues to grow it's too legit to quit y'all but i don't like it look at this look like a uh look like a, a pumpkin Look like they're supposed to be pumpkin, y'all. Uh-uh. I just uh uh y'all I don't like it. Um these two right here, this one down here, and this one up here, that's the um the black cobra hot peppers. They waking back up. And see down here, I think a pepper probably fell into the pot. And now you see all of these little pep. This probably about this probably about ten plants, y'all, right here. I just left it in there to you know, kind of grow up and, and do what it do. I got some more weeds in the pot. I have a lot of this. Y'all tell me what kind of, oops. Oh, dang, that y'all, that was the sign. That that was my sign. Uh, y'all know it's gonna stay down there. I ain't finna go down there and get it. Look at all them spider webs, you see that? I got that everywhere around here. Um. Oh, why well, I'ma take the video down? Because this exclusive content for the people that join the live. And because, y'all, I'm not the most confident in my live streams. I did, the, the two or three that I did, y'all, they, they wasn't like what they were supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I might leave it up. I might leave it up. Eh, I was thinking about taking it down, but I might leave it up. I do. Look, I got my stick. I got my PVC pipe, y'all. I ain't playing. This half-inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. I, can't, I got these all around the yard. But I have um, this weed right here. I have this all around. You see another one. Another one in a plant. Oh, it's not focusing. But I have this weed like all around. I'm constantly pulling them up. Um, but for peppers. So I have two black cobra hot peppers. This is. And all of these peppers, y'all. All of this stuff is from last year. Everything is from last year. This is the um, Sun Bright. So this is supposed to be a yellow pepper. This is the Keystone Giant. This is a green pepper. These are the Purple Beauties. I got a good uh, a good amount of Purple Beauties. And y'all look at that. Now what the snuck in there? Let me see if we can focus. What's that? Is that cilantro? Or is this a weed trying to come up? What's that in the middle down there, y'all? Can you see that? Hopefully. You still, you want me to taste the leafy green? All right. I'm on the way back. On the way back, y'all. This dude. All right. Now, if I go to the hospital, y'all know who did it. Who who name in there saying for me to do it? I think it's Mike and it's, it's GT Jr. They saying it. Now, let me see, Shani. This is. Okay. Oh, Shani. She said you most definitely have the accent. Uh-oh, y'all. Hold on. I'm learning how to scroll up and down. A little bit i don't want to detract too much from the progress that i think i'm making in the video y'all so we're gonna keep going but if i if i don't see your remark or if i don't um if i don't uh you know reply or answer to you y'all please forgive me because i'm you know i'm learning i'm learning with the live stream and i know y'all gonna uh, understand i know y'all support me and i sure appreciate you um this one now i put this tag in here um for orange fresh orange bites but i don't think that's what this is y'all i i don't think that's what this is this one let me see this sign oh this was the banana pepper sweet banana pepper so um this one i told y'all that was the purple beauty and this one i think this is red or green um bell pepper so these I don't know if I'm gonna let these stay in the bucket or if I'm gonna replant them with fresh plants. I don't know. 
I'm not sure y'all I have enough space to squeeze in one more five gallon bucket all of these great buckets that you see these are five gallon buckets and then these little black ones I think these are like three gallon maybe but I built this five gallon bucket stand I built this myself y'all I looked on YouTube and I saw uh, some videos I was trying to organize you know the backyard shenanigan yard trying to have stuff let me let me back out and show y'all this so i'm trying to have a decent walkway you see that so i built these stands to try to help me where i can have a, a clear walkway for myself and for uh like maintenance because my pool equipment is uh back here on the left side you'll see that when we get back there but i'm trying to you know have it organized and stuff and try to have stuff positioned where i can reach my plants um you know when they small and as they grow so just trying to be a little organized that's all if y'all ever seen um zoe's zoe's homestead he is in fairville north carolina and i think he said he's in 8a or 8b now he getting ready to move but if you want to see a organized like container um layout for a garden y'all check out some of the videos on his channel very very organized y'all this is aunt jerry's garden and um this is dedicated to my aunt jerry and my aunt virgie um they passed away but this this garden is dedicated to them this is a six by two raised bed and i believe it's about 17 about 17 inches tall and if you see the feet the pvc pipes i'm making a frame for this also i just haven't finished it but I am making a frame and it's going to look like the ones you see over there. I'm trying to enclose everything with tool because if y'all been paying attention to, you know, like the news and just the weather, people in the garden community know they saying that uh, this spring and summer is going to be a heavy pest and, uh, you know, a lot of pest infestation a lot more bugs and critters and stuff than what we had in previous years y'all and I'm, I'm trying to protect the food that i grow let me move this out the way i don't want to move it too well look it, it didn't already came <laughs> y'all look a look -a. <laughs> my look i'm gonna put this on the side but i am building that if y'all recall i planted you see all those white tags i planted a whole bunch of stuff in this bed I believe it was right before or right after Thanksgiving, so November of last year. And about uh, maybe two or three days after I planted all of these seeds, we had torrential rains and winds that I believe blew all of the seeds out of this raised bed. And the only thing that seen to survive, y'all, is my carrots. So, there's carrots. Now, I did plant these in November, and yes, y'all, it is March. But if I pull these things up right now, it'll probably be uh probably a half an inch i'm pretty sure this is a weed now this is supposed to be a detroit beat i know this ain't no detroit beat y'all this a weed i need to pull this up now this is a beat y'all see that that's a beat this is not so that got the that got to pull that up these are my oyas i have three of those in here um oh thank you miss shirley you know what thank you for your confidence in me because i'm running my mouth uh <laughs> hopefully if i ain't doing nothing else i'm entertaining y'all this is something that i always wanted to do like go through my garden like space by space and explain you know what i have in my garden why i have things the way that i have it how i have stuff set up because i feel like i can't um really do that in the backyard shenanigans videos or if i do a youtube short or even a quick clip i don't feel like i can fully explain all of that but i just want to um just kind of go through and explain this might be the only time i do this and then i might not ever do it again so um these are my compost in place containers so i just bought uh pictures from the dollar tree or 99 cent store you can see i put holes in them i have a soldering iron so i just put holes in them holes in the bottom uh y'all if i lift this up and the spider jump out i'm gonna leave y'all right here i promise you <laughs> Yeah, see, this is like this. Look at that. And I got something growing in there. Now, y'all know it ain't nothing supposed to be growing in there. But I put, um, if you can see the top, you probably can't tell, but that's banana peels. So I put banana peels, kitchen scraps, and I put a little soil in there. 
and this is a composting place so the um, the raised bed is always being filled i mean uh it's always being fertilized and fed is what i wanted to say so i have one on this end i have one on that end over there it's the same thing and then i have the three oils i put this rock on here so bugs don't crawl in and all this is y'all is two of the terracotta um two of the terracotta uh plant pots y'all check out the video i did a video on how i made these and put them together and y'all know um terracotta is porous so i put two of these together like silicone glued it you know put it down so many inches maybe five or six inches down into the ground or into the raised bed i fill it up with water and slowly but surely the water um you know goes out into the soil to help to water the roots because sometimes when we water in the garden that water is sitting at the top or it's barely going you know one inch down into the soil unless we do a, a deep soak so these oils help me to get water further down into the soil um to water this raised bed so and y'all know while i'm let me y'all smell it is this a weed or is this lettuce y'all what y'all what we got going on here I think there's a weed. Oh, no, but hold on now. Look. Y'all, what y'all think? Should I pull it up? <laughs> Bugs do add protein to the water, but when I lift off the rock and the bug jump out, uh, it it adds fear to me. So, <laughs> I don't want the fear. I don't want leave it. All right. Mike say leave it. I, I think I broke, I broke this leaf, y'all. But all right, I'm going to leave it. Now, if a weed come and swallow up everything I have in here, and what about this one, Mike? Leave this too? Now, um, you said a radish. Now, the only thing I planted right there where that big weed was, that's supposed to be beets. But, like I said, the, the wind and the rain and stuff, it blew the seeds either out of the raised bed or it blew them, you know, all around. Now... This might be a cabbage, y'all. Cabbage or broccoli. But you can see it's growing real slow. Um, I'm probably going to end up pulling up everything in this bed except for those carrots. I'm going to leave those carrots. You're right. Yep. Use it for compost. And that's what I do. And speaking of that, I'm going to show y'all my compost. Um, The thing that I wanted to show y'all the other day, I think I did. I did a YouTube short um that bumblebee stopped me from doing it but if y'all see this cherry tree that i have in a pot if y'all remember i had it over there where on a patio where i had all of my other trees um and i got some flowers i got some blooms if y'all can see but they kind of like died out i don't know if this is like the beginnings of cherries y'all see that but anyway it wasn't waking up like it was supposed to now i need these two cherry trees in order to cross pollinate to get cherries so i moved this y'all and when i say i you know i mean the not me somebody else did it this pot weigh almost 100 pounds with all of this soil and you could <laughs> no mike you could pet them you <laughs> you could pet them y'all look at a hummingbird over there i don't know if you can see it hide behind the back of the feeder when i sit in my living room this is the hummingbird feeder that i can see and I used to have another hummingbird feeder over here on the other side of the cherry tree. But when I put up all of these pallets, which we're going to get to in a second, um, I had to move. I had to move it. And so if you can see, I have it all the way down on the end over there. Um, I don't know, but I think I'm I think I'm going to move it. I'm going to move stuff around. Y'all, I'm constantly moving stuff around until it is how I want it to be now so i put this cherry tree right here this is the royal lee and this is the one in a pot and then this one you see with all of the blossoms this is my mini royal and this cherry tree is in the ground and y'all i finally went through and i got the little green you know stuff and did it because i had did that to the apple tree and the lemon tree earlier you know a couple weeks back or a month ago and i just did this maybe two maybe two days ago but you can see this cherry tree is definitely waking up oh y'all lord there go the bumblebee uh-uh we finna cut it short 
Look, now what's she doing in the cherry tree? I don't, let me see if I could. Let's see. If we could. What? What? Oh, no. Uh-uh, y'all. All right. She flew back. Y'all, let me hurry up. Hold on. Let's get this back to the, to what it's supposed to be. Hold on. Let me hurry up, because I really want to show y'all the rest of this. And now I done seen a bumblebee. She done came outside, so it's time for me to go inside. All right. This is rosemary. Y'all, I have picked so much rosemary from off of this. And it this, this thing, it just won't quit. I thought it was going to flower, which it was. And I guess it nipped its own flowers in the bud, because it stopped going to flower. These, let me see. Why this look like it's so close? Is this the right okay um these buckets right here so these are the six buckets that were my original vertical herb garden um if y'all saw that like lord what that was that ran across the back did y'all see that i didn't think it, it was a lizard y'all see now I, i'm starting to show out it's time for me to cut this lie uh uh y'all i ain't leaving this up this got to go this got to go because i'm finna embarrass myself on international video i ain't doing it I saw that lizard, y'all. <laughs> My eyes roam to and fro looking for all the bugs because I got to know where they at, y'all. As long as I know where they at and I have my exit plan, I'm good. But if I don't know, if I can't see them, especially once I saw them and then I don't know where they went, uh-uh, y'all. So these are empty now. Uh, I am considering putting more herbs in it and I was going to stack these up into the three two one vertical thing again and make the herb garden but when i put this cherry tree over here that um that messed it up yeah gt i am i'm gonna eat it i am i promise you i'm gonna eat it i'm gonna eat it y'all we have crows we have so many crows here i don't know what the deal is with that but we have a lot of crows all right um this is my table y'all my little my little work table it ain't never clean Y'all, if you're looking for home and gardens, you're at the wrong channel. Because it, it, it stay a work in progress. Um, this is red romaine lettuce. I'm letting this go to seed because I want to collect these seeds. If you can see that, I want to collect these seeds. And I want to replant them. I actually got these seeds from a fellow YouTube gardener. Thank you very much. She gave them to me. And she was also the person that gave me the miracle leaf of life life leaf miracle y'all know i can't never get that right and then the um what was it the jamaican the jamaican cherry tree that i think died this was the um this was the stand that was under the cherry tree y'all and it broke so now and i think i paid i might have paid like five dollars for that so y'all know i'm mad about that this is my um my square foot uh, the thing for the square gardening, if y'all ever seen that or if you into square gardening, I bought this off of Amazon. Um, I paid way too much for it, but then I found out how to make my own. So, y'all know, I'm, I'm all into DIY. These are just some bamboo, you know, sticks that I use for all kind of stuff. These oyas, these um, terracotta pots, you see these are more like the tall slender vase like shape, vase, vase if you bougie. Um, <laughs> but these are going to go in my mini raised beds that I put the watermelon and the cucumbers in. Y'all going to see the setup. Oh, this is, remember when I told y'all the liquid fertilizer, this is what I have right now. This is, this is what I have. Oh, GT, what I did, you know what, it ain't nothing fancy. Um... It, it ain't nothing fancy. I just took a piece of cardboard. I took a piece of cardboard and I traced out. I basically, I traced this over some cardboard. And then I did a, a lamination over it. Because obviously, you know, cardboard, that's going to get wet. That's, that's going to get wet. I think I might have shown on one of my videos. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I showed exactly how I did it. I might have just showed you like a before and after or whatever. But you know what? If you go on Timu, um, you could get these things for like a third of the price that they're charging on Amazon. Like they're charging like $30 on Amazon. And you get, um, you know, you get this. You get, this is like a little measuring thing. 
and then you get this right here that help you like put the seeds in the particular spot that you want to put it in i mean it's nice don't get me wrong i i like it um but they're selling it for almost like i said like 30 dollars on amazon and you get the same thing on timu for uh like eight or nine dollars and you know of course y'all know i do have a little timu code and stuff i am not, i ain't gonna lie to you i'm kind of conflicted on timu i'm you know back and forth <sighs> on timu i don't want to go too deep into it and all that kind of stuff but I put it like this. I get what I get while I can. And if something happened and is no longer available, you know, I, I have what I have. But I do shop at Amazon. I do shop at eBay. You know, of course, I shop at the, the big box stores. And y'all know, honestly, let's, let's just be truthful. The majority of the stuff that they're selling at the local stores and even at the stores we, you know, buy from online, the majority of that stuff is not made in USA. We making less and less of our own stuff, y'all. But I don't want to, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go there because then I really have to take this, uh, you know, I won't be able to keep this live up. These are the, um, the, the branches from the cherry tree, from this cherry tree that I took off. Um, I cut them off and you can see, like I had like the little white string and like this is where I, you know, I cut this limb off. Uh, like I cut this limb off. I'm trying to shape this tree. I want it to be, um, you know, like a wine glass. And I'm trying to get it, you know, to be like that wine glass shape. And I need it to grow up and not out, especially right here, because I don't want it to block the walkway. I feel you too. I feel you, GT. I understand with you with the with the Timu because it took me a long time before I made my first purchase at Timu. Because I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I looked at the stuff that they had for the garden. Now, the gardening stuff is the, is the thing that really, you know, that's what tipped me over. Like I said, I don't buy clothes and shoes and stuff like that. The majority of the stuff I buy is garden stuff and like a few little household things. Now, let me show y'all this right quick. This is actually the liquid. Y'all, now this is my, um, how miss, uh... How Miss Linda call it T-Nog Super Juice? Or what she call it? This is my super juice. I've been having this. I made this thing um, uh, probably about two years ago. I made this. Um, and y'all, this stuff, this stuff is green and thick. I would use probably one, one water bottle. And this is, you know, those 16.9 inch uh, water bottles. I use one of these per two gallon um jug and where my jugs at my jugs is somewhere else but just one of these per two gallons of water and what i did was y'all i had this a five gallon bucket this is a little laundry bag so what i do is i put all of my um you know all of my my greens my kitchen scraps my whatever i sit that in here and i fill it up with water and I put the little spout on it so I don't have to open this up and smell that putrid smell except when I'm adding stuff in it or you know if I'm changing out the bag and starting all over y'all don't pay attention to all of this this is um I think this is gorilla glue or something because I messed up when I cut the hole for this I cut the hole too big but I just went ahead and put some gorilla glue and no the glue does not touch the contents on the inside because if you could see right here i actually have a barrier that i you know that i placed and then the glue is over it and on the inside on the other side of this on the inside of the bucket i have another barrier so no like glue content or residue or nothing like that is getting in to the liquid it's not touching the liquid at all so like i said i've been having this probably for at least two years and every so often, I just add stuff in here, y'all. And you know how you see people going in and they stir? Uh-uh, y'all. <laughs> look, I just shake the bucket. I ain't opening this unless I have to, y'all. But anyway, this is my, you know, my super juice. And like I said, one of these bottles per two gallons of water. And then I use that for liquid fertilizer. You're going to see me using that a lot um, this season, especially because these stores is... um. You know, taking their sweet time putting stuff on sale. And I ain't buying it at the regular price, y'all. That's why I haven't did, I haven't set up my, um, 
my green stalk vertical gardener because I need potting mix. Um, and I'm even waiting because I can make my own potting mix if I have uh, cocoa core, perlite, and vermiculite, and a little bit of uh, like worm worm castings. I could do that myself. Yeah, my compost tea. Yep, compost tea, super juice, DIY liquid fertilizer. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it. That's that's what I got. This is just a shelf out here, y'all. Just, you know, like I said, just store my little stuff, work in progress. I got stuff all up underneath here, y'all. You know, I show you the real deal. The good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. Like I said, this is not, on. Um, we ain't Martha Stewart. This ain't home and garden. This here garden is for real people. Now, something I want to show y'all, I'm doing different for this year. Um, if you look inside this bucket, so these are all five gallon buckets. I have my my holes, my drainage holes in here. In the bottom, I have you know how you buy um like the five dozen eggs, and they have the like the little what y'all call it? You know, like the little egg cardboard. So I cut this out um in the shape. And I put this down in the bottom. And then I have, this is my PVC pipe. Just like the one I showed y'all, like the one I have in my hand. So I burned some holes in it uh, with my soldering iron. You see I got holes on both sides. And I put this tool over it because I want the water to be able to pour out. But I don't want dirt, you know, to be able to get in. You know, as much as possible. I want the holes to be clear. I put this in diagonal. And then, as my plants grow, and y'all know how when you, the leafy cabbage and the greens and everything, and uh, it just make it hard for you to get to the soil line or to water the soil without it bouncing off of all of the leaves. So that's where this came in. So y'all remember the, um, the gallon water jugs that I use for my, uh, my herbal garden, my medicinal herb garden? This is the tops. So I just took the tops, y'all, hey, again waste not want not i took these tops i cut a hole in it like just enough size for the pvc pipe to fit through and then when i water with my watering can i just water right down in here and the water goes all throughout and again this helps me to water in the depth of the soil and not just at the top so all of these buckets have that I did that for all of these buckets so this whole thing is basically three pallets this is three of the yellow pallets each pallet has four buckets four of my five gallon buckets and then a bucket in the middle that's gonna be flowers I'm just gonna throw some flower seeds in there y'all I ain't gonna be particular or specific and that's my setup that I made for here so that's the big change for this year's garden y'all know every year I seem to change the backyard shenanigans layout. But that's okay though, y'all. I mean, you know, it ain't it ain't never gonna be the same for me. The old tomato cages that I have in the back here, this is probably gonna be tomato, eggplant, uh, pepper, something like that. I already have it laid out what I'm gonna put in each bucket. Um, but y'all know that's subject to change. And then back here, this is a 20 gallon um a 20 gallon planter pot but this is where my earthworms are by mistake y'all I didn't even mean to do it but it turned out that way so every time I um, fill up a bucket or container or whatever I take a scoop out of here this is 20 gallons this is cardboard one of my 30 gallon grow bags I put all this stuff in here because I don't want the birds to go in and eat the worms so that's why that's there um the tool the tool in the mesh around the bottom of here is so the water can come out but because this is going to be in the soil i don't want the soil to um you know clog up the holes for the water so that's why i did the tool and we're gonna see we're gonna see how it work out gt you know i'm going back and forth but you miss shirley you know y'all saying leave it up i'm gonna see y'all i'm <laughs> i'm gonna see all right, y'all. This is my 15 gallon um, bucket. This is, hey, hey, look, GT, hey, baby, steal it. You know what I'm saying? And put your name on it. 
You ain't even got to say, oh, well, I saw this person, I saw that person. Y'all, you know what? Y'all, can, can I just sidetrack for a little bit? Can I sidetrack? We ain't talking no mess, y'all, but can I sidetrack for just a little bit? All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I seen this a lot first in the natural hair community on YouTube because that's what I was doing a lot of first. And they had this thing that come about where if you do something and you just say, hey, I did this, I did that, you know, I built this, I made that, I used this hair product, I did this DIY mix or whatever. But you don't give credit to whoever may have done it, either exactly like you did or a modified version of what you did. But they posted their video before you did and you don't give them credit. Oh, oh, y'all, y'all, do they come for you? Do they come for you and do they, dra do they drag you through the fertilized soil? Yeah, <laughs> y'all, yes, they do. Now, I'm of a certain age where I promise you before I started my YouTube channel, I was combing my hair. I promise you, there's no way in the world I got to this age in my life. And I, I never combed my hair before I came on YouTube. And I had been doing a lot of stuff before then because like i said i've been combing my hair before i came on youtube and i noticed that people who posted a video okay you post your video then somebody came after them and they posted a similar video the first person come on the second person channel drag from like a dog then do a video on their own channel dragging for the person like a dog because they didn't give them credit because they did it first obviously they must have saw them they copied it just like they did ladies and gentlemen of the jury i'ma ask which one of y'all watch every gardening video not even just in the past month this year last year how many of y'all have watched every gardening video that have ever been uploaded on youtube and for those of you that do, um, what is it? You do the other platform. So you got Instagram, you got TikTok, you got, you know, all of these other ones. You Do you know that you had to watch every other video that was ever uploaded before you uploaded yours? And then you got to give credit. We got to do a credit. It's like at the end of the movies, y'all. You got to do a credit and give everybody credit who done did what you did before you did it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm about to tell you. Healy ain't doing that. I ain't never doing that. I, I'm not ever doing it. Now, you know, I have no problem with saying, oh, yeah, and I saw this on so-and-so channel. I saw this on so-and-so channel. You know, if I remember the name, I'll say it. I'll put it in there. Sometime I'll link the channel. I mean, I just uploaded. What was that, y'all, I just did? um, About the pesticide. The little pesticide I'm going to be trying. I found that on a video, uh, Liquid Dirt, and that video is like three years old. Y'all, hey, y'all check this out. Don't sleep on them old videos, though. Like them videos from like three, four, five, six, seven years ago. Don't sleep on the old videos, y'all. This book that I read, and some of y'all know this book, too. It said, ain't nothing new under the sun. So if you need, if you're looking for a solution for something, if you need help with something, I promise you it already been done. It already been done. So, you know, I don't have problems like, you know, hey, giving people credit and this and that, but I'm not finna go out my way and watch 10 billion hours of videos to look to see if somebody did what I want to do, give them credit, link, shout out their name. Y'all, look, you got the wrong one. Y'all know I try to keep it positive and, and clean and kosher and everything, but don't get me worked up because I tell you the real deal. And y'all know I'm from Louisiana too? <laughs> you heard? You better get it right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. All right, so, um, GT, this is my Thompson Seedless Grape. And it's doing, <laughs> look, like it's doing okay at the bottom. Y'all know that it's supposed to turn brown and, you know, it get the reeds, like after, like after the first season or the season pass, it gets the reeds. This does not mean that it's dead. Because you can see if you follow it up, you can see new life now i definitely have to get out here and do some work i did put some liquid fertilizer um in these pots this is my 15 gallon pot stand but i need to do something with the soil i gotta add some compost and stuff 
um I, I need to do something and i think i might actually try i might actually get another grape plant and put it in here i might actually you know i might actually do that um i've heard the same subject but different information was revealed yes ma'am yes miss shirley yes and i and i'll be the one to tell you i haven't invented nothing new because if the bible say ain't nothing new under the sun i, I ain't invented it you know, you, you, I may have been the first person that maybe you saw, you know, with a particular thing. But I promise you, I ain't did nothing new. If the Bible say I ain't did nothing new, I ain't did nothing new. All right, y'all. This is that miracle leaf of life. And this is a 15-gallon pot. Now, when I first got this, I think I had it in, it wasn't even a one-gallon pot. Then I had to put it in a five-gallon bucket. Now it's in a 15-gallon pot. And this thing is just y'all look and look at these are the flowers do y'all see that these are the the pods or the, the flowers or whatever now y'all look at this let me it's only so far that this selfie stick will go and i'm gonna tell y'all now they got spider webs all around in here if i drop this phone i'm gonna come back to y'all i'm gonna come back now look at let me see if i could if y'all could see look at this like this particular one right here Wait, hold on. Am I showing y'all right? Let me see. Look at this. See, this like a like a flower coming out the pot. I'm sorry, y'all. If it's, it's it might not be it might not be um it might not be showing right. But y'all can see this and see um if y'all can see this like they're starting to dry out now. Like they're starting to dry out. I think some of you know like the pot or the seed or the whatever probably done fell down back into the pot and i think it's falling into my tomato pot too now these are patio tomatoes now it's time for me to come pick off some more of these um tomatoes these are patio tomatoes i also got these from a fellow uh youtube gardener thank you very much i don't be liking to reveal people name and stuff unless they give me permission y'all so that's why I'm not saying who it is, but it's a fellow gardener in the community, and I sure appreciate it. You know, some people want their name said, some people don't. I respect it both ways. Um, I got some more tomatoes, you know, coming in here. But this patio tomato is getting very large. This is in a 15-gallon pot, and this thing is probably about two feet tall. Now, um, yo, you can't even, you, look this is my mystery pepper a pepper volunteer y'all but where the pepper plant at where's the pepper plant ladies and gentlemen or is it just all the weed let me see look at that this this is the pepper plant way in the back the weed and i'm gonna tell y'all look i'm gonna tell y'all why who, wait who said that what look what what y'all now look look now don't all right look look hey y'all <laughs> i because look i told y'all i'm gonna leave y'all right here and i just got this phone y'all and this i paid a ridiculous amount for it but guess what i will drop it it'll be right up in these strawberries y'all now these strawberries these are ozark strawberries and if you remember i think these like a year and a half like a year and a half old these are the strawberries that i got from grocery outlet grocery outlet is a discount grocery store i don't know if you have those in the area but it's kind of like aldi we have aldi too but i got these from grocery outlet y'all and it was supposed to be 10 it was supposed to be 10 bare roots in a bag i think for five dollars or something y'all when i dug through the bag i think i had two now from them two bare roots i got all of this i'm gonna take these out and i'm gonna put them in the vertical garden the, the green stalk vertical garden that's where i'm gonna move these so my, i'm getting i'm getting good y'all first i had one tray then i had to expand it to two trays now i got three trays and i purposely um snipped um like the the feeders i snipped them once they got uh set up in this you know once they got set up in the subsequent tray then i snipped off um these y'all when you're on a live stream you know sometimes the word don't come exactly to you that's what they edit before but we live though so y'all we can't edit now um but you see so this um y'all see this thing right here 
I got this from Timo too. And this is just to help so the strawberries don't land down on the soil where the roly polies and the other bugs and stuff can get it. I like these. Um, and actually, this is half of it. So I have some circular ones, and these are more kind of like rectangle ones, but this is half of it because it was too wide. So what I did, I just split it in half. And I put half on one side, half on the other side. But the reason why this weed is still in here and growing is because it have grown in between. If you can see that, like it have grown through the um through this the little green plastic thing, y'all. That's why. Um, this is this is the um the Jamaican cherry tree, y'all. It died. It died. This thing was so beautiful. If you watch some of my um some of my previous um backyard shenanigans video when I showed y'all this Jamaican cherry tree when I got this thing it had like two leaves on it and it grew into this beautiful tree y'all this beautiful plant and then it died I just don't have the heart to pull it up <sighs> y'all but I'm gonna have to and I'm gonna use this bucket for something else now this right here this is my Mars seedless grape and this one y'all i think this thing dead but well okay i lied all right it's not dead it's not dead look you see the new growth coming out but again um i need to i need to do some work i got some work to do these are ladder meshes i believe these are five or six feet long these are ladder meshes i bought these from home depot and what I'm going to do with this, these are actually going to be the trellises for the grapes. I need to get my garden wire and I'm going to turn these around. So let me back up a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to have them face upward like a like a rainbow, like a bow. Y'all right, it is. It's still alive. It is. It's still alive. Mike say runners got to run. You know what? They, they was running until I clipped them. They ain't running no more. I broke their legs, y'all. <laughs> but I wasn't trying to be mean though But I just Y'all see I done ran out of space Actually I do have one more of these But I don't want them to grow no more Y'all ain't that something ain't that, a, ain't that a problem to have Ain't that a blessing to have When you don't want something to grow more Because I'm waiting for the soil y'all I need the soil I'm trying to get everything set up So um, this is the 15 gallon um, Bucket this is what I have on here, y'all. A lot of bamboo, you know, extra bamboo. I use this for trellis and stuff. Y'all, waste not, want not, reuse, repurpose, recycle, re-read. Y'all, I do all of that. I, I do all of that. Um, And then <laughs> the last area, y'all. So these are my compost bins. These are my DIY compost bins, y'all. I made these, what, about a year and a half ago or so. I got a video on it. I made these um and i have the spigot at the bottom to you know just get get like the little compost tea and compost tea and stuff out of there and look uh, now i got stuff y'all if i say look uh, one more time y'all forgive me you know i'm from louisiana y'all don't get twisted because i tell y'all i live in southern california i am not from here <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i'm not from here now what do we have here y'all i don't know this what is this what we got cilantro or something what we got y'all remember last year i think i showed it to y'all i had that whole tomato plant i had it growing out of this back one right here i had a whole tomato plant growing out of here and look they got something else that might be that might be a weed or something y'all but i think i explained it to you oh parsley it might be parsley all right because look it's down here it's down here too Oh Lord, I know y'all God dog and y'all saw that lizard and y'all ain't tell me Y'all did y'all look look see That's it. Look at this thing. Please don't move. Do y'all see it? Look by that by the brick back there Wait, hold on. Let Y'all see it. Look Look at his face Look at his face looking like a snake Oh y'all uh-uh uh-uh see Y'all done did me wrong. Now, who saw it? Who saw it and didn't tell me? I'm about to block y'all right now. Oh, no, look, he coming out. Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo! 
Is it a snake? Oh no, it's a y'all look at uh uh. We got a caps. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Look at his but his tongue slicking out like a snake. I see his legs though, y'all. I see oh yeah uh uh. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell. <laughs> Share this video, my playlist, with everyone you know. Until the next time. Okay, no, y'all. <laughs> yes, indeed, y'all. I went in the automatic mode. <laughs> he catching a bad bug, so I mean, you know where he might be. But um, can he can he do it in in the quiet? Can he do it being invisible? All right, now, y'all, look. I done left my gloves. I took my gloves off. Hold on, let's see, because y'all know they... Look at that. Spiderweb on the back. Oh, wait, hold on. One, make sure, especially if you're on a cell phone, make sure it's charged. For the full length of the live stream, y'all, make sure the phone is charged for the full length of the live stream. <clears throat> I apologize. I did not mean to cut off so abruptly, y'all. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. My phone died. I got it plugged up on a charger, just enough juice to come on and say this. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream. Lord, two hours and five minutes. I can't believe it. I sure appreciate y'all. Thank you. Well, let me be a little bit better, y'all. Thank you to everybody who joined me on this live stream. I know y'all said keep it up. Y'all said keep it up. It was, in, if, if nothing else, it was entertaining. If nothing else, it was entertaining. Mike, GT, Miss Shirley, uh, Shani, 2003, um, uh, Broke Farmer, uh, I, I might be getting the names wrong, I might not be including everybody, but thank y'all so much for joining me, I am, y'all, I got to catch my breath a little bit, but I'm gonna go back outside, I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna taste that green, y'all, I'm gonna taste that green, and I'm gonna do a, uh, a YouTube short or just a community post or something like that. And I'm going to let you know what it was. So we saying it's, it's a, a lettuce, it's a mustard, it's a kale. It's, it's one of them, y'all. But it definitely crowded out the entire bean. The, the, one, the one little bean that came up, y'all. It is totally shadowing out that whole thing. But whatever it is, I'm going to taste it and see what it is. But then I got to pull it up out that pot. We probably just, whether it's kale or lettuce or whatever, we'll probably just eat it. Um, but I got to pull that up because I do want to give the bean a chance to grow. So, y'all, with that being said, <clears throat> thank you for joining me in this live stream. I'm going to leave it up, y'all. I'm, I'm <laughs> Y'all, if I get dragged for this live stream, I know. It's two people I know. It's, I know. Two people. If I leave this live stream up and, and I get dragged for it, I know. But, y'all, it's all good. I, I got a thick skin. You know, when it come to all of this, when you, you know, put yourself out there in public, you know, you put yourself out there to, uh, you know, positive comments and not positive. But, and, you know, it's all good because who going to come for me? Who going to come for me? All right, y'all. With that being said, you know how I end all my videos. <clears throat> Remember, subscribe to my channel. Click that notifications bell. Like, comment, share with everyone you know. Thank you so much for joining me, y'all. And until next time. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. Y'all know how I end this. Hold up now. Let's see what we do.